Okay, welcome to our Airstream. We have just completed this guy, and if you're watching this video, you've either been one, interested in our project, or two, potentially wanting to buy her. Um, I don't know why I just refer to every Airstream as a girl. But yeah, so I'm gonna do a little video walkthrough of basically the whole entire thing, so that way if you're interested, um, and maybe you don't wanna, you wanna buy it, and you can't come look at it beforehand, you'll get to see like the whole entire thing on video. Um, so yeah, my name is Bree, my husband Josh, he is the one that did all of the work. I just helped with design and I'm so proud of him. It looks amazing. So yeah, here's a walkthrough. Okay, here is our 1958 Airstream Flying Cloud from the back until the tongue or to the end of the tongue jack is exactly 22 and a half feet. The actual trailer is, we measured 19 feet. Um, so there's kind of the logistics on how big it is. Um, here's the front. All of the windows are intact, good. None are cracked or anything. Here is the side. We just put brand new tires on them yester on it yesterday, so they're brand new. Here is the back side. We have a Dometic AC unit on top as well as a solar panel. And there's a hookup right there for 110. And yeah, you can see the AC. Solar panel again, new tire. And yeah, so there's the outside of again, our 1958 Flying Cloud. She's cute. Also wanted to note that we have the tongue jack, which is super nice. Um, that is brand new. We just put that on. Now going inside. Door, locks good. walk in and this is what you walk into so we have the dinette um, we did an open concept just looks wise we loved it um, we have this beautiful chandelier up here plug is right here um, all of these lights that I'm showing work off of the solar right now um, the table is on this adjustable thing so like if you want to work you can turn it it moves um all over the place however you want it to and then the table goes down and it creates a two-person sleeping area in the front right there so that's the table we have these like i don't know you can call it faux um speaker covers up there they're just covering um, two holes that were up there um, that just hard to fill. So we have those up there. Um, we have a plug down there. And then, so just for perspective, there's the front door, walk around, dinette, and then we come into the kitchen. So two sides to the kitchen. This is the first side. You have two upper cabinets. Everything is soft closing, which is nice. We have black sink, faucet, water. Um, and then we have the three burner stove here. We have a fan here for to run air while you're cooking. Um, it's ready to be wired, it's just not working. Um, but there is wires already there. Um, and then we have storage down in here. Lots of storage because we just know how much it's important to have storage and butcher block countertops. Um, and then on this side, we have the fridge. Fridge is freezer up here, fridge in there. It is 110. And then we have butcher block countertops here, um, you know, space, more cabinet area, 
whole cabinet there. And then we put this little cute like wall up there to kind of separate the kitchen from the backside where the like main bedroom is and then the bathroom. Okay, so this is the stove. It is a match light stove. And there you can see it working. Okay, and then just for perspective, this is me standing in the middle of the two cabinets. So you can kind of see how much room there is in between. There's a lot of room. Josh and I can easily, I could cook here and he could cook here and like we wouldn't be hitting each other. So there's that. Okay, now to the backside. So here we have some storage. There is the two pads that actually go right there to complete the dinette if you want to sleep some people in the front. Um, we have plenty of storage here to put like shelves if you would like. And then also we have some of the power stuff down there that's easy, easily accessible. So we have that. And then we have this little wall right here. Um, the water heaters right down there. Um, so it has great airflow and stuff with the propane. And then here is the bathroom. Um, we have the shower tiled, works great. I could show you without hitting myself with water. There's that. <laughs> and then we have bathroom sink, a little mirror that I added here just for the women in the group. And then we have the toilet, works great. It's brand new, so that's nice. And yeah, little mat down there for when you're standing in the bathroom. And yeah, and then over here, one of my favorite parts is this shelf, love it. Right above the bed, um, so it's easily accessible for putting water cups or whatever you wanna do when you're sleeping. And then we have a USB uh, plug thing right there, right next to the bed. And then this is the bed. So it actually, it folds out, which I can show you in a second here. Um, and it, it can sleep too, super comfortable. Trailer comes with the mattress, just the mattress alone. Um, and yeah. And then we have a light right here. Okay, here is the bed completely folded out. It's very spacious, very comfortable. Josh and I both can fit in here super comfortably together. Um, you have the shelf right above your heads, which is super nice. And yeah, it's very comfortable. And then the bathroom's right there just for reference. <laughs> 